Hi, Andrew here. So as I shoot this, I have not seen your comments about the gel test for the FK Bruno 7.5 millimeter because that's in the future. <laughs> that video hasn't been edited yet, let alone published, but like the great Karnak, I can predict that many of you are probably asking to see how it does against soft armor or at least pistol rated armor. And I would be a bad person <laughs> if I didn't act on your desires, knowing that that's what you're going to ask for. So let's head out to the range. Let's test that same FK Bruno 7.5 millimeter field pistol with the 95 grain high terminal effect <laughs> against level three, a from lightweight armor solutions. All right, so if it wasn't blatantly obvious from the splash of water like SeaWorld, <laughs> yes, it perforated the armor. It perforated the armor, the gel, <laughs> and uh, about four inches or so of water in that jug behind it. Um, no, I didn't feel like setting up a several blocks behind it to see how much it would get through. Uh, that's kind of beside the point. It got through enough that it's potentially fatal even after passing through the armor. So I suppose that adds a bit to the practical side of what this pistol is useful for. It can perforate pistol rated armor. Yes. It can penetrate deeply. It has a very high velocity and relative to other pistol bullets has doesn't have a lot of drop at distance. So if you're shooting a hundred meter pistol competition, it's probably not a terrible choice. It does have a fair amount of recoil, but it's not unmanageable and less than you would expect for some really hard 357 loads or 10 millimeter even. I'm still a little stuck on where this pistol belongs. And to help a little, I play a little mind game with myself is in that let's imagine that this pistol was actually eight or nine hundred dollars instead of eight grand would i be interested in owning one yeah i probably would that is i'd be interested in owning one if i was confident that there would be ammunition or brass available in the future and that's that's hard to say uh, the parent case looks like it's 10 millimeter, but it's not. The dimensions are very slightly different on the case head, but more importantly, it's longer. The brass is longer than 10 millimeter. It's not just a 10 millimeter neck down to 30 caliber. It's overall longer. So that means you can't make brass for it from 10 millimeter. And I don't know of any other commonly available cartridge that you could make brass for it. So even if you had a reloading set up for it if you have the dies and bullets and whatnot eventually you're going to run out of brass that is if it doesn't take off like a rocket and sweep the market and frankly at the price point that it's at it doesn't seem very likely that it's going to sweep the market maybe they'll offer a more working man's style priced gun with less bells and whistles, maybe a five inch barrel or I, I don't know if they were to offer something more affordable, then it's more likely that the cartridge would take off. I would like to hear your thoughts on it. Do you think that 7.5 millimeter is going to be popular in two years or five years or 10 years? Do you think anybody will have heard of it 10 years from now? Let me know what you think about it. Post a comment below. As always, thank you for supporting the channel. We really appreciate your likes, shares, subscribe. That all makes a big difference and it helps us continue to bring you good content like this. 
The other thing that helps us continue to bring you good content is by supporting our sponsors. Ventura Munitions sells lots of kinds of good, affordable ammo, and if you head on over there and see what they have in stock, one, you can get some good cheap ammo, and two, you can tell us what you'd like to see us test. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.